Losing your eyesight can be devastating, not only to you, but to your future income ability and to your family as well. In this short video, I'm going to cover the five most common preventable causes of blindness and how you can take easy, affordable steps to prevent these causes of blindness from ever occurring to you or your loved ones. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical practice, and this video is gonna help you keep from going blind. There are many, many causes of blindness in the human mammal. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the five most common, and I'm gonna start from the least common and move to the more common as we go along in this video. The number one cause of preventable blindness in humans <clears throat> is absolutely preventable. You wanna stick around for that. So let's get started. The fifth most, most common preventable cause of blindness in human beings is trauma. And this almost invariably comes from someone who's working around a high velocity machine without the proper eyewear. So of course, if you work in a factory or around large machinery, you need to always be wearing your eye protection. But this also goes for people who are weekend warriors, who mow the grass on the weekend, who weed eat the, the edges of their lawn on the weekend. Actually, in my experience as an ER physician, these are the most common causes of ER visits for eye injuries are people who don't do that for a living, but they were working around some machinery and not wearing safety glasses. So 100% of the time, not just that one time, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna do this for a minute, honey, before we go to dinner, that's when you're gonna have an eye injury. Wear your safety goggles. Now, this is the only one of this list <clears throat> that does not have a dietary cause or association. So probably regardless of what kind of diet you eat, if you have trauma to your eye, you could lose your eyesight. Number four is glaucoma. Glaucoma is the fourth leading cause of preventable blindness in human beings. You may have heard, especially if you have glaucoma, that it's genetic, there's nothing much you can do about it. Actually, there's quite a lot of research showing that the syndromes, such as metabolic syndrome, pre-diabetes, type two diabetes, type one diabetes, are, and hyperinsulinemia are all intimately linked with developing glaucoma. Now, there are multiple different kinds of glaucoma. Some are caused by, by mechanical means within the eye, but the vast majority of people wouldn't have developed glaucoma in the first place if they were eating a proper human diet, which is a very, very low carbohydrate diet that excludes sugars and grains and vegetable seed oils. I've put some research to all of these five causes of preventable blindness down in the show notes below. So if you doubt me on any of these, look at the research, it's quite compelling. The number three most common cause of preventable blindness is cataracts. Again, you might have a little bit of a genetic predisposition. It definitely the, the incidence of cataracts increases as people get older. These two things are absolutely true. But the majority of people could either prevent cataracts totally or have a much less severe cataract that probably doesn't require surgery and does not lead to legal blindness they could prevent this from ever getting this bad by following a very low carbohydrate diet, a proper human diet. There's multiple links in the research between insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, prediabetes and type two diabetes with cataracts once again. Uh, so yeah, it's very important that your diet, especially when you're a young person, far years, decades before you develop that cataract, you need to be cleaning up your diet right now so you, that you don't ever develop that cataract. Can people with existing cataracts reverse them to some degree? Can people with glaucoma reverse the complications of glaucoma to some degree by converting from just a standard American crap diet to a proper human diet? Probably, you probably can't undo all the damage, but you can definitely slow down the ongoing damage and prevent new damage from happening by cleaning up your diet. The second most common cause of preventable blindness in the human mammal is age-related macular degeneration. I actually have another video on this channel about that and research about the diet, and I'm also gonna put those links down in the show notes as well. 
Again, macular degeneration is closely tied to your diet. If you're eating a high carbohydrate diet full of sugars and grains and lots of vegetable oils, you are at much higher risk of developing macular degeneration. If you're eating a diet that doesn't contain a lot of omega-3 fatty acids or or if you're eating a diet that has adequate omega-3 fatty acids, but it's far, far too high in omega-6 fatty acids, you're at increased risk of developing glaucoma. And now the number one preventable cause of blindness in human beings is diabetic retinopathy. Yeah, the literally thousands of ophthalmologists are kept in business every day taking care of people who have had pre-diabetes for decades and they didn't know it, had undiagnosed diabetes for years and didn't know it, and that damage is being done each day to the tiny arteries and arterioles that feed your retina. And eventually you start to develop edema, you start to develop new blood vessel growth. And there's, there's a little argument in the ophthalmology community about this. Is it from the chronically high blood sugar? of prediabetes and diabetes, or is it from the chronically high insulin levels that go hand in hand with diabetes and with prediabetes, metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance? All of these people have some degree of hyperinsulinemia. Now, since insulin, one of its many, many functions is it functions as a sort of growth hormone, it makes perfect sense that being having chronically high levels of insulin could lead to all of the causes and symptoms of diabetic retinopathy. So the diabetic retinopathy shouldn't even be a thing because if everyone took charge of their diet, ate a very low carbohydrate diet that did not contain sugars and grains and vegetable oils, there would just the, the, there would be 10 cases of diabetic uh, retinopathy in the entire United States. It would be very, very rare. So all you can do with all five of these is put the odds in your favor. And I want you to always have the odds in your favor. So wear your safety goggles and fix your diet. Then all of a sudden, these five most common preventable causes of blindness, your risk of them is one in a million, if not even better than that. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to this channel and click the little bell button right beside the subscribe button. That not only helps you get notification of my weekly videos, but it also pushes this video out to more people so that I can help more people avoid the most preventable causes of blindness and other chronic diseases as they live their happy life. If you'd like to join my tribe and help me fight all chronic diseases, consider becoming a patron. You just go to my Patreon link right down in the show notes. It's a super quick sign up and you can then throw a buck or two my way to help me help more people. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.